Along the shoreline, two cities are not done celebrating the 4th just yet. After getting postponed because of weather, both New Haven and West Haven are going to put on their annual fireworks shows tonight. And that's where we find Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland, who is live with the mobile newsroom there in West Haven, where the party's already underway. Hey, Matt. Hi there. You know, West Haven traditionally puts their 4th of July uh, fireworks spectacular here at Seven Rock on July 3rd. Mother Nature, other plans this year got postponed just a couple of days. As you said, party is underway. They're ready to celebrate tonight. They're going to be shutting down the road over here. They've got food trucks over there. They've got food trucks in the parking lot over here. Uh, we've got live music as well. And of course, then there is the big focal point the fireworks over there at Bradley Point some early birds are already here but again the fireworks what everyone's showing up here tonight to see West Haven does an amazing display and it's why Melissa Ortiz staked her tarp to get the perfect spot more than 10 hours before the first firework takes flight we come every year I've lived in West Haven my whole life come down early, get a spot right in front of the rope so we have a beautiful view. In fact, she was here before the fireworks themselves, which got trucked in late this morning. It's a lot of hard work on the part of a lot of people, the police department, the fire department, the public works, and the, the committee itself, we raised the money to pay for the show. Fireworks co-chair Sandy McCauley says this year, that ended up being more than $20,000 for fireworks. In addition to the show, there's food trucks, a craft fair, and live music. So if you're coming to watch there's a few things you should know. A number of roads will be closed, and there's no parking in the neighborhoods around the beaches. Parking is available first come, first serve in the beach lots and at West Haven High School. It's 20 bucks for out of town visitors by using the city's new web based parking app, but free for residents who are paid up on their registration and car taxes. Police officers will also be posted at beach access points with all bags subject to search, and no alcohol or open fires allowed on the beach. And while crews setting up for West Haven's largest one day event, drawing tens of thousands of spectators along its three miles of public beaches, with two neighboring cities putting on shows tonight, it's just another option for those looking to celebrate. I find it very exciting that New Haven's having theirs the same night because I think it'll help all of us or share the crowd, so to speak. Though here in West Haven, Melissa is pretty partial. It's a beautiful event and West Haven has one of the best beaches and we absolutely have one of the best fireworks displays in the area. Now, the show is expected to start around 9 15, 9 20 tonight. City is reminding folks if you are going to park in one of the lots down here by the beach, again, with the road closure, those lots are going to be closed until the end of the show and everything wraps up, starts opening back up around 11 tonight. We're live with the mobile newsroom in West Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.